Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. And today, we are taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legend series, Thor Dark World Infinity Saga Thor. Man, these names are really long. Uh, I picked this up this past weekend uh, at Walmart with the uh, Iron Man Mark 46. Um, I've been tossing around the idea of putting together an exorcist. I don't want to really collect MCU stuff. I want to stick with the comic book stuff. But I would add, like to have a, an assembly of the MCU Avengers. I thought that would be a good little shelf, uh, little shelf sparkle uh, within my Marvel stuff. And uh, so I picked it up. And um, yeah, so um, I'm going to start working on putting together... Uh, and an Avengers, an MCU Avengers. So you know, you know, I've got I've got Iron Man and Thor. I need to get. I want to pick a good Captain America. And if you have any recommendations, uh, please drop them in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm gonna get a uh, Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow, get Vision, get Wanda. Uh, I have two of the final swing um, Spider Man from No Way Home, so I'll probably use one of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that'll be fun, fun little project for me. So let's take a look here. Here we've got Thor the Dark World, uh, legend series up there at the top. On the top, we've got, uh, Thor the Dark World and Thor. There you can see Thor and all his Asgardiness. Uh, the Infinity Saga, Marvel Studios, Thor, Avengers logo, Hasbro logo, Ages 4 Plus. Don't put Thor in your mouth. You might get shocked. Uh, warning, choking hazard, uh, right there that tells you not to do that. Um, on the side here, we've got that Infinity Saga collage. Uh, same on this side um, with all of those Infinity Saga characters. <clears throat> on the back, we've got multilingual uh, thing about Thor, the Dark World, and there is uh, said poster for a movie. Um, Jibbery jabber legal jargon across the board, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. Hasbro, Hasbro Marvel logos there on the bottom, more jibbery jabber legal jargon, houses of Klingon and barcode. Let's get him out of the box, let's get him on the pedestal, and we'll have ourselves a look. And here we have him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First off, he comes with two heads. We have the just neutral head on there, and then we have this one, which is sort of a smirky, smart-ass looking uh, face. Um, I think they did a pretty decent job on Chris Hemsworth likeness. It looks better on that one, I think, than this one. Uh, but uh, yeah. It's a uh, it's a pretty good looking it's a pretty good looking head. Uh, the hair seems to be maybe a little bit too light. It would be it would have been better if they would have added a wash to that and give it a little bit of definition. Uh, but you know it's not a deal breaker. It's pretty good because the beard is. I mean his beard is a little darker than his hair, but um, it's okay. I'm not gonna display him with this face this head anyway. So. Uh, that'll be that'll be a fun head to do something with, make a biker guy or something. I don't know, a happy biker guy. Uh, and then we've got two sets of hands. We have a set of splayed out hands, and then we have a set of grip hands here, uh, as you can see. Uh, and they all uh, they well, let's see. They yeah, they are both up and down hinged. Yeah, they're both up and down hinged, so that's good. Uh, and then we have Milnir, and I will say this is uh, this is very weighty, um, as it should be. Um, looks really good. The the silver on the hammer is very very shiny. Uh, it's got a what is that? Is that that's not supposed to be there? Is it? Is that a? There's like a little. Is that supposed to have a big dent in it right there? Or is that just a that's just a an oopsie from the factory there I think ah that's very odd yeah I think that's just a little plastic oopsie okay well I have a little uh, I have a Milnir with a plastic oopsie on it that's interesting okay um, you got that brown paint apt hammer with the silver rings going all the way down to the pommel there. And then you have that soft rubbery strap. Um, it's Milnir uh, with with a with an oopsie. He, he dinged it up hitting something. And then here we have Mr. Hemsworth Thor himself. 
Let's line or uh, measure him up, and he stands, bam, seven inches tall. He's a big boy. Well, Hemsworth is a big boy. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the sculpt on this. It looks really, really good. Like I said, I feel like this face. I think this one looks better than this one. Uh, the even the skin tone is slightly more pale than this one. Is a little bit more peachy looking than this one but i like the serious look on his face like he's not he's not taking any he's not taking any crap from anybody and um the eyes the blue on the eyes looks a little better i think this is just a better better head all around uh for this figure um i will say this uh i am not uh unlike land speeder luke over there at his channel i am not a fan of rubber capes but I will say this, um, it is a very soft rubber cape. Uh, it is about the softest rubber cape. It's very, very pliable, um, as you can see here. It's it's a lot softer than most. I don't like rubber capes for number one, it is weighing, he is back heavy. The cape is what's propping him up there. Um, I cannot get him to stand up uh, unless I lean him forward. And if I do, it's he's still rocking back onto that cape. So that cape is like a third of the weight of the of the body on this figure. So that being said, um, let's take a look at the rest of it here. Where that that big, big, big red cape going down there? Um, I wish it were detachable, but it is attached at the back uh, by two pegs in the back. I will. I may end up getting a third party uh, cape. For this um, you've got those brass um, pips on there where that's connecting to the armor plate um, which that armor plate is really nice gunmetal tone uh, going down you've got those circles right there and that gold coming across um, all the way down you've got that sort of chainmail um, scaled look down to the gauntlets where you've got a little bit more of that red underneath there and you've got that gunmetal and gold on the gauntlets there down to the skirt part of this where you've got a little bit of blue a uh, little bit of blue popping out on that and then down to the pants where you see a little bit more of that scaling but not as shiny on the pants uh, going down to the boots where we've got more of that gunmetal gold and silver inlaid in there uh, and then down to the feet. So looks really good. It's a good looking figure. It's just that this this cape is just weighty. Um, I don't know why they just Hasbro doesn't move to soft goods. I they we know they can do it. We've seen Jedi robes. We've seen everything uh, that has the soft goods capes. I think they should just move away from rubber capes and just stick with the soft goods because this this thing is because of his size. It's just he's wanting to lean back on that cape. So good news is I won't have any figure fall trouble with this guy because he's he's got his own built-in stand. Um, looking at articulation, uh, we've got a... Okay, it is just a static neck with a peg. That's it. Um, no, no hinge, no dumbbell, no nothing. And there's really no point in having it because with that hair... You're not getting much. Uh, you can get full rotation with that head. Uh, you're not getting really any down or any up with that, uh, or a little bit of tilt there, but not much. On the shoulders, you've got full rotation on the shoulders, but it, it does catch on that upper part of the armor where that's underneath that cape. Um, but you do have a hinge going all the way up to there. Uh, with a bice, uh, bicep swivel and a double elbow going on. Um, there he's scratching his head, wondering why they put a big stupid rubber cape on him. Um, down to that, uh, no gauntlet swivel, but we do have a wrist swivel all the way around and an in and out with the splayed out hands. Um, there is a ball joint mid torso um, for some twist, and it's detented, if you can hear that. Um, it is detented. I feel like that would pop right off, though. It's very loose. Um, there is no waist swivel whatsoever, but you got the legs out to right about there as far as they're going. There is a thigh swivel and a double knee going back to right there where that catches on the leg 
Uh, down to detents on the feet and a forward rocker. Let's pop his hands out and put Milnir where it needs to go. Right there in his hand. Okay. I can do this without having him kick the camera. I kind of redid my little studio here where I do these action figures and um, I've li even limited my space <laughs> even more um, so he looks really good um, the the texture and the the uh, shininess of the armor he looks really really good uh, but um, it's really that really that little ding there on, on Milner is really bothering me. Um, he does look really, really good. Um, but you know, he's got a few issues there. So let's pull him off the pedestal. We'll line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. And here we've got him with the Medico Moffex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Mezco 112th Collective Superman Man of Steel Edition, and the Mattel DC Multiverse. Aquaman movie version, Jason Momoa. All in all, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm fairly satisfied with him. Uh, it's a shame that the Milner has a little ding in it, um, but you know I'll I'll point that uh, away from the front and it won't be seen. And there you can see it coming around there. <laughs> um, I, I I'm uh, I'm gonna give him a seven out of ten. I would give him higher than that. But that cape is obnoxious. Um, I'm going to poke around and see if I can get a third-party cape and, and rip that thing off of him because I'm just not liking it at all. Um, but uh, aesthetically, he looks really good um, outside the cape and um, just a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the cape and that upper armor, the shoulder armor part there is, is a little obnoxious. But... Um, you know, shelf presence is what it's all about, and um, he'll have great shelf presence. He towers over everything. I was lining up those guys to, you know, scale him up, and I'm just like, holy crap, he's huge. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly satisfied, so 7 out of 10 for me on this one. So that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time, and until then... Don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.